So in today's world, it seems like everything is kind of the same, boring, not unusual at all. And every once in a while, you'll hear or come across something that's a little bit unique, and you'll just have to go see it for yourself. And we're at one of those places right now. It's right here. It's an upside down traffic light. We're gonna tell you a little bit more about it. Let's go take a look at it really quick. Well, it certainly is upside down. It's right on the bottom. Green on top. Today we're in the Tipperary Hill neighborhood of Syracuse, New York. And this is where Irish immigrant families settled during the construction of the Erie Canal. Around 1820 is when this neighborhood was formed. As far as the story about the traffic light, about a hundred years after this mainly Irish neighborhood had been formed, traffic lights came into use. Around 1925, this one was installed. That was your typical traffic light, right on top. Right after it was installed, the story goes, leprechauns would come and smash it. Now these horrible leprechauns, uh, this being a busy street, which it still is, they needed a traffic light here for obvious reasons. They decided to replace it, and that one was broken. And then soon after, they replaced it with another one. And you guess what happened to that one? It was broken as well. So after a while, the city finally gave in to some of the demands of the citizens in the neighborhood. And their reasoning for it being smashed so often was having red on top. It was like saying that British were better than the Irish. The green on the bottom. And that just wouldn't do in this neighborhood. I've seen some stories about how the state actually intervened and said that this could not be. So they had to flip it back around right on top. And after a little bit more fighting and debating, in 1928, on St. Patrick's Day, it was flipped back to the way it currently is now. With green on top. And as far as the leprechauns, that might be a maybe a little bit of a falsehood. There were some confessions from different people. And these are the ones held responsible, pretty much. The kids aged up to 17 years old. They took it upon themselves to make sure that the red in the traffic light would not would not be functioning. And you can actually see in this bronze statue a little slingshot here. You've got a good aim, friend. You've got a great aim. And this is the Stone Throwers Monument. And it's in Tipperary Hill Memorial Park. imagine traffic lights are expensive now but they were probably really expensive back then. You can got little shamrocks on the uh, fence here. It's just so unique, just so cool. If you're looking at it, there's, there's even an old don't walk and walk crosswalk sign there. I haven't seen those in a while. Classic. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks for coming along with me to see this little thing. Pretty unique and an awesome story behind it too. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up down below, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.